With your Glass Smart thermostat installed, select Tap to continue to start the configuration flow. The first screen Glass presents is the End User License Agreement. Tap the link and scroll to read the terms and conditions, or you can view them online at the glass.johnsoncontrols.com website. When you're done, tap the X to close the window and return to the Agreement screen. Tap Accept to agree to the end user agreement. Next, read through both the privacy notice and terms of service for Glass. Once you've read through these notices, tap Accept. This allows you to configure your Wi-Fi as part of the setup. If you choose not to do this step as part of configuration, you can always go into your settings later to accept and set up your Wi-Fi. Glass will automatically detect what wires you have connected for your heating and cooling system. You can do this by removing the front cover, tap Continue to initiate the process. Verify that Glass has accurately detected your system's wires, comparing your wires to the diagram on the screen. If they do not match, tap to select or deselect any that are incorrect. This is an important step as it tells Glass which terminals to send power to. When the diagram and your wires match, reattach the front cover and tap Next. Then select the type of heating you have and tap Next and select the heating method and tap Next. Then you have to tell Glass what mode to start in. For example, if it's winter in a cold climate, you'll want to select Heat. If you're in the south during August, you'll select Cool to turn on the outside air conditioner. In our example, we'll select Heat. Tap Next. You can have Glass test your systems, or you can test later through settings. We recommend you tap Yes, Test Now to perform the test as confirmation that your fan is circulating air. This is a good way to double check that your wiring is correct. If you feel air or hear your fan, tap Yes to confirm the fan test. You can also test your air conditioning unit if it's warmer than 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4.5 degrees Celsius outside. Let's say we're in Wisconsin in February, so we're going to select Skip AC Test. Because we skipped the AC test, Glass asks if we want to test our heating instead. Yes, we do want to do that, so we'll tap Continue Test. Glass asks if there's warm air coming through the vent. Be sure to give it a minute to warm up. For our demonstration, we'll pretend we didn't feel any warm air and we'll tap No. If a system test fails, Glass has retry logic that would prompt you to check your equipment and wiring. In that case, you can tap Retry Test to perform the test again. We've checked our connections and this time we do feel the warm air circulating, so we'll tap Yes. That completes the system tests, so Glass shows you a summary of your results. You can see we skipped the cooling test because of our outdoor conditions, but the fan and heating tests both passed. Tap Next. With the system test complete, you're ready to configure your Glass Smart thermostat to get the most comfortable environment and energy savings through the steps shown here. Tap Next. Select a name for your thermostat based on where it's located. Tap Next. Now you'll connect to your Wi-Fi. Locate and tap on your network name. Then enter your network's password and tap Join. After Glass connects to your Wi-Fi, tap Next. Then enter your postal code. Tap in the field to display the keypad and enter your postal code numbers. Tap Enter to minimize the keypad and move on to the next step. Use the tumbler to select your time zone and tap Next. On this screen, tap Next to prompt Glass to install any available updates and enhancements in the background. If Cortana is available in your area, then Cortana will begin to download in the background. Glass also lets you choose how to display temperature, either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Make your selection and tap Next. 
Select the type of building your Glass Smart Thermostat is in and tap Next. Glass will walk you through a few questions to set up your initial schedule of home and sleep events. Tap Continue to get started. Select what time you usually wake up and tap Next. Then select the time you usually go to sleep. This lets Glass know when you're typically sleeping to create the sleep event and tap Next. Then select a comfortable range for when you're at home. This means glass will turn on heat at 66 degrees and turn on the air conditioner at 72 degrees. Tap Next and select a range for when you're asleep. Tap Next and your configuration is complete. You can also manage the Glass Smart Thermostat from your mobile device by downloading the Glass app. Tap Done to restart Glass with your configuration settings and begin enjoying your comfortable space and energy savings.